Hello, today we're going to be covering the window behind us with a rolling shutter. Uh, I'm going to show you how it only takes about between 15 and 20 minutes. Okay, we've made the shutter for you in four parts. Your housing assembly, your curtain, your guide rails, and then a base a stop angle in case you don't have a window sill or the shutter's not coming to rest on the floor. Step number one is going to be to take your base stop angle if you're using one, if you have no window sill or you're not going down to the ground and cut it out of the plastic. Our next step is we're going to make three holes in this angle. Uh, you want to put a hole about every uh, 12 to 16 inches, so I'm going to drill a hole about one inch away from the edge, one in the center, and then one at the other end uh, so that we can go ahead and attach it to the wall. Okay, we cut this angle for you uh, the same width as your finished dimension on the shutter. So our next step is going to be to find the center line on the bottom of the window. Window is 37 inches wide, so our center point is going to be 18 and a half, and we're going to do the same thing with the angle. Um, The angle is 42 and a quarter inches long, so center point for us would be 21 and an eighth, and we're going to make a, a mark on the angle and at the center point of the window, and we're going to line those two marks up. Okay, we've aligned our two center points, the center point on our angle with the center point on our window. Um, we're going to go ahead now and set the angle right up to the bottom of the window. Check for level. Everything looks good. We're going to go ahead and uh, drill out the, the three holes that we made in the angle and run in our three screws. Okay, we're going to align now our center line on our angle with the center line on the wall. Check everything for level. We're going to go ahead and drill, drill the first hole out now in the wall. Okay, we're going to recheck for level, and with our first hole drilled out, we're now going to run in our first screw. Okay, we can recheck, recheck level, and then we're going to go and go ahead and drill out our two remaining holes. We're going to run in our remaining two screws. Ready now for our next step, which is going to be to cut the guide rails and the housing unit out of the bubble wrap. We're going to go ahead and pull the uh, tape that's holding the hood cover and hood together off now and remove the hood cover.
we're going to go ahead and set this off to the side. We're ready now to put the guide rails and the housing up against the wall. Before I do that, I'm going to drill a hole to secure the housing uh, right here at the bottom of the housing. We're going to put one hole as close to center as we can. So since I'm doing this by myself, when I stand it up on the wall and it seats on the, on the base stop angle, it'll stay in place while I level and plumb everything else. Your order came with two guide rails. Obviously, we've already cut these out of the bubble wrap. Where we drilled these, pre-drilled these holes for you, uh, this is the side where the first hole starts about six inches away from the edge. That is going to slip up onto the end cap legs. So this, this piece is going to slide on to the end cap here, and this guide rail is going to slide onto the end cap here. I'm going to slide them both on to the end caps, supporting the end caps so you don't break that leg off, and then we're going to stand it up and put it on the wall. I'm going to give the shutter support as you pick it up. Take it up the ladder. it up over the window. Now the inside edge of our guide rails will be the outside dimension of whatever you provided. Okay, we're going to run in one of our flange head Tapcon screws to hold everything in place. Shutter is up now and stable. We're going to check the two side angles to make sure they're square. They look square around our window, but we're going to double check and make sure they are square. You're provided with some smaller headed screws, which is what we'll be using uh, to run in through the larger hole in the front. The screw will bite into the back of the, the, back of the, the channel and, and secure to the structure. And then these holes along the side will be covered with a plug button uh, making them accessible in the future if you ever needed to remove the shutter off the wall. That side looks good. And both sides are good. We're going to go ahead now and drill everything out. Everything down.
I'm going to put a couple of more screws in the hood now. Um, there's no real right way or wrong way to attach the hood. You could attach the hood to your soffit uh, through the top. Um, I'm going below, um, below the, the tube. Um, you could go above the tube. Wherever you have something structural to tack into, that's where you want to go ahead and run them in. cut our uh, rolling shutter curtain out of its bubble wrap now and we're going to go ahead and take it up the ladder and we got to unwind it to get to the slat hangers uh, and then we're going to walk it up, walk it over the axle and walk it down the guide rails. Okay, now in order to get the shutter uh, fed over the axle and down the guide rails, we're going to actually unwind the shutter and we're going to rewind it the other way um, so that I can handle it by myself. I'm going to just kind of fold it over like this so I don't scratch the curtain. As I unwind, unwind it, there's my base slap. Just kind of folding it, folding it up like that um, so that I can handle it, take it up the ladder. Uh, again, this is a point where having a helper would come in handy. curtain seated now in place. If you've hung the shutter correctly, uh, the shutter should seat down nice and square. Everything is uh, seated. We're going to go ahead now and uh, wrap the slat hangers around the front of the axle and we're going to screw them down uh, using uh, the self-drilling, half-inch self-drilling screws we provide. So you want to make sure now as you wrap these slat hangers around the front of the axle uh, that both of them are lined up. Your shutter is seated square at the bottom. Uh, you want to make sure that you screw it in square at the top so that when the axle turns and pulls the shutter up, uh, the shutter pulls up out of the track squarely. That's a self-drilling screw. You don't need to pre-drill the hole. Uh, it's a screw and a drill bit all in one. You start running the running it in with your electric drill, uh, and it'll it'll self seat. Okay, we're going to run another screw in. Your slat hanger has three holes. You only need to attach the shut uh, the slat hanger to the axle with. With two of these screws, that'll be plenty to hold uh, uh, hold a, a standard size shutter. If you have a huge shutter, you may want to use the third hole. A little trick I've learned over the years to keep the the screw heads from marring uh, the shutter is take a, a little piece of blue painter's tape uh, once you've screwed it together. Just put it over the, uh, the axle right there and right there and that'll keep uh, the screw heads from, from marring the powder coating on the curtain. 
probably one of the biggest questions we get are what are these plastic white cone shaped thingies uh, that I, I don't know what to do with. Uh, these are called conical stops. This is going to keep the curtain from pulling up off the track um, when you're winding the shutter up and down. So what you're going to do now in your base slat, in your bottom slat along here, you're going to drill two holes at about one-third and two-thirds the way across the shutter. Um, and you're going to put these stops pointing out um, the screw that screws into the back of them. They've got a stop, a washer, and a screw. The screw will come in through the back. The washer goes in over the screw head. The conical stop will screw down on top of it. Okay, one more thing that I'd like to mention when uh, drilling your holes is if your window is right behind uh, your shutter, you want to raise the window, maybe remove the screen and, re and raise the window before you drill out uh, your hole so you don't puncture the, the glass or your screen behind it. drilled the two holes, but I haven't put the conical stops in yet. Uh, our last steps in, in finishing off the shutter, we're going we're gonna to put the, uh, the hood cover on. Uh, we're going to put our universal uh, with our little pivot here uh, in place. We're going to wind the shutter up a few turns, and then it's going to make it easier for us to put that screw uh, through the base slat and screw that conical stop down. The first step is going to be to uh, put the, the hood cover back in place slides up into a little channel up here in the top and seats up against the bottom and then it's going to screw down in place uh, with another one of these self-drilling screws. Uh, we can put one here and then put one underneath. One thing I'll, one thing I'll mention on this is you've got a protective plastic coating on the shutter, on the hood, um, which which will come off, and you can begin to take it off here as you as you approach the final stages. Okay, your shutter housing came with a protective plastic on both the front cover and the hood. I've peeled it off the front cover. Um, it's kind of hard to get off. Expect it a little bit. I'm going to show you how to peel it off the top. Okay, we're going to put our operator in now and we're going to finish up. Let's wind the shutter up a little bit. We'll put in our conical stops and we'll be able okay, to... Okay, I've pulled my crank handle out of the plastic. Crank handle hooks up to the universal like so. And it'll bend for you. And go ahead and wind the shutter up a couple inches. That'll hang there like that. We'll go ahead and put our conical stop. Okay, we take our conical stop, our washer, slide that over the screw like that. We're going to put it in from the back. Let it poke through. Just go ahead and screw the conical stop down on it like that. Holding it finger tight. 
You can put a plug button in there to cover it up. Same plug buttons we're going to put in the track. We'll finish up with our plug buttons and we'll be all done. Okay, we're just going to check the operation of the shutter now, up and down, and, and we'll be all done. That's it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, give us a call toll-free, 888-474-3555. Uh, one thing I'd like to mention is the shutter can also be operated from inside the structure. Uh, today's uh, video was about an outside operation. Uh, it can be operated from inside by drilling through the back of the hood um, and inside the house. That same universal will slide in from inside and can be rolled down that way or electrically. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, give us a call toll free 888-474-3555.